my gosh, I feel so justified. All right, yes, I do. We we are um, aware of the um, concerns about the 500 melting line, and so, um, but um, there there is um, they are working on it for possible improvements with that. So um, it is definitely a, a noted issue. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. Oh, everybody's having a great week. Do not go anywhere today. I mean, I might say that a lot and you just not believe me, but today I've got something so crazy to tell you. I'm freaking out a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Now, let me catch you up. Last year, I made a video calling out one of the largest outdoor power equipment companies in the entire world because I found a manufacturer defect in one of their products. Let me show you whole thing right here is completely warped up just like on the last one the last one when i went to take it off this centerpiece wallered out the plastic in the back base after it was only used for a, about a month and if you look this is the first time this head's been off and the whole center i don't know if it already popped out wallered once but it is not flush in its hole anymore you can see large gaps all the way around Let's take this one apart and see what the line looks like. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's the same. It's all wrapped in itself and melted. Let me show you. Let me see if I can get you to see this. That line is completely stuck underneath that other line. Look, I should be able to just pull this freely. There's no way you're gonna be able to just bump your head and it shoot line out if this is not coming out freely. Ooh, you can, he you can hear it from the meltedness <laughs> of it stuck together. Listen, that one, oh, I can even see it. Chunks of it, listen. Okay, that one I might've got the, the melt out. Let's do the other one. That is the sound of cracking melted plastic or trimmer line, whatever it is. Wow, wow. Yeah, these are melting. Now I did this with limited information and pretty much putting my reputation on the line. And the feedback I got was extremely mixed. I had some professional mechanics that had been working on echo trimmers for years who said, I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. Then I had a territory manager for Echo get a hold of me and said, oh no, we had tons of them return because they were melting. But I knew, I knew that something was odd about this and I felt I had to tell the world because most people would never even realize it. And it will cause them a lot of time, money, and frustration. Because every time one of my commercial guys came back in telling me they had an issue, they were ready to just buy another head. Thank goodness I had 450s to sell them. But the problem lies is that they're discontinuing the 450. Now I've sold thousands and thousands of 400 and 450s. They are the best head ever made. I leave them in the description box below every single video. They fit a ton of different trimmers. If you do not have one, definitely try it out. But I knew this 500 was gonna wreak havoc on a lot of people. Now, after I made that video, I couldn't really pursue it at the time because it was winter time. And I do not believe that these heads are melting when it's cooler outside. I think it's more of a heat thing, but most people trim when it is hot outside. So I literally was going to go buy a brand new SRM 3020 uh, Echo trimmer with a Speed Feed 500 on it. I was gonna take it outside and just trim until it melted so I could show you guys. And all them other commercial guys and mechanics wouldn't think I was crazy. But instead I decided maybe I should just get a hold of customer service. So I emailed Echo first, never got a response. Then I decided I'll go to their Facebook page and I'll leave a comment on one of their posts. I got the standard issue back, you know, go here, go there. So I went to their website and tried to chat with their Echo expert. And this is what I got. Of course, when I let them know that their online Echo expert was pretty much non-existent, I didn't get a reply. So I did what they told me next, I called. I thought I wasn't going to get anybody, and I'm pretty sure that they were warned that I might be calling. All right, so I'm calling Echo now, I guess, since uh, their online customer service is non-existent. And let's see what they say. 
Thank you for calling Echo Incorporated. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Your call is being routed to the next available agent. Thank you for calling Echo. This is Beth. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with this afternoon? Hi, Beth. My name is Bree. How are you doing today? Oh, pretty good, Bree. Thanks for asking. How can I help? Well, I was calling to find out. Um, I, I was an Echo dealer for about 12 years. I love the product, and I've sold thousands and thousands of the speed feed heads, the 400 and the 450. They are definitely the best speed feed head ever made. My question, though, is the five okay. the 500 that came out. I'm finding that it, when um, I had some commercial customers that they, they were melting on them, the inside of the uh, spool was getting so hot that it would... Uh, melt the line inside and they'd have to stop. I was wondering, and I wasn't that concerned because whenever I was dealing with it, I would replace it with a 450 or, and they even let me warranty it through my distributor. But I was wondering what's going to happen now with the no 450. I, I'm assuming y'all are stopping the 450s. Yes. So, um, yeah, there's we have discontinued many, or yes, or selling the, the 450. That makes me um, sad. So <laughs> I know. They're a great trend. And other customers, too. Um, we we are um, aware of the um, concerns about the 500 melting line. And so, um, but um, there there is, um, they are working on it for possible improvements with that. So um, it is definitely a, a noted issue. But, yeah, the 450, unfortunately, is is no longer okay for, yeah because that I, well i'm just i'm so glad okay. to hear that because whenever i called last time you know it's always that's the first i've heard of it so i'm glad that finally that they see because i with them being put on so many yeah. units that's scary you know that they could have so many out there that are just melting and, and the thing about it is is most commercial customers they don't even realize it. they go through so much line that they just oh well i'll just train change my line out but i noticed it right off the bat now <laughs> like, this is this is not good right. these are really great heads and i think that metal insert is definitely transmitting the heat from the gear head into the line so yeah hopefully hopefully yeah. they do something about that yeah no they're uh we yep the calls had started coming in so we're we're absolutely aware of it so they're yeah they're they're doing something i haven't had an update on what but they are working on it so that for makes, sure that okay. sounds awesome all right well that's what i needed to know i'm just glad that they're addressing the issue because yeah i'd, I would, I'd hate for <laughs> to not have the option for the 450 and be stuck with these melting on everybody so that's awesome thank you so much yeah oh you're very you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for calling. You too. Bye. Well, they know about it. Have they said anything yet? No, they're still riding their time. So we're going to see what happens with that. Are they going to do a recall on it? Are they going to um, change out those heads for a 450, upgrade the 500? I don't know yet. But obviously, I was right in my last video. These heads are melting. There is an issue out there. And thank goodness Echo is, you know, actually admitting to it and going to do something about it. So I'm freaking out a little bit, guys. I mean, if I wouldn't have made that video, a lot of people wouldn't even have known what to look for. They wouldn't have complained to Echo, and they might not be trying to fix the problem now. Now, Echo has always been extremely good about repairing any kind of manufacturer defect. Even though it takes a while and a lot of units to fail before they really realize it or say they realize it and go ahead and repair it, they always end up doing the right thing. That's why I really like this company. So it still sort of stresses me out though. I mean, do you know how many thousands and thousands of Speed Feed 500s they've probably sold and put on units? I have no idea the amount of money this is gonna cost for them to have to fix. They might just do like a manufacturer defect warranty and if you say something to your dealer, they'll go ahead and switch it out. But for what? They discontinued the 450. Are they gonna put another 500 on it? Or are they gonna upgrade it? Let's hope they upgrade it back with the plastic insert or just go back with a 450 and give everybody another head. Now, my guess is why they got rid of the 450 and went to the 500 and why they change things like this all the time is because there are so many aftermarkets out there that they're losing a bunch of money. So I'm sure with a patent on the 500, they probably get to hold on to all the sales for a while. But there are still tons of OEM Speed Feed 450s out there. So if you would like to get one, I will leave a link right below so I would stock up now. But this is why I'm here, guys. This is what I love to do. When I talked about the Husqvarna parts being astronomically way too expensive on some sites and 
addressed the issue in one of my videos. They saw it. They reached out to me. They in, made an entire task force to lower all their Walboro prices for their carburetors on their small engines. For years, before I even came around, we were all griping about the Husqvarna spindles not being able to have grease inside the bearings because they were sealed bearing. I mean, why did it even matter that it had a grease zerk whenever no grease was getting in the bearing anyways? They fixed it. I feel like without this platform and us being able to respond back and forth to each other about our certain situations, these companies might not ever do anything. But what does this do? I mean, a hundred thousand of you watched that video and obviously word got around and many people were able to know what to look for and what was happening with their trimmer and just instead of thinking it was a user error and we're making changes. That's crazy, okay? That's crazy to me. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this, guys. I am super sad that they discontinued the 450. Thank goodness, I think I still have 12 of them. I might hold on to them for whenever I need them. I don't know. My big trimmer really uh, works best with the 400. The 400s are great for everything. You have to have a, a trimmer with at least 28 cc's of power to hold this big head, I think. So if you have anything below that, just go ahead and get the Speed Feed 400, and hopefully they don't get rid of them. We will call a revolt if they do. <laughs> so oh, that's it, guys. I am just excited. I wanted to let y'all in that Echo does know there is an issue. They are going to address it, hopefully, and uh, I'll keep you updated. I'm just glad I'm not crazy, okay? <laughs> they thought I was crazy. They did. I mean, I had people that had worked on Echo units for years who really didn't believe me, and I was very disheartened by it. I thought maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was a fluke thing that it was just happening to me and my commercial guys. I had no idea. And now I feel justified. <laughs> okay. Maybe you might want to hire me for quality control. <laughs> So thanks again for tuning into Chicanic. If you find yourself coming back over and over again, think about hitting that subscribe button. It helps out the algorithm to make my videos shown to more people to save them time, money, and frustration in the future. If you haven't found me at Facebook, find me at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find me on Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find me at Chicanic.com where you can get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day.